welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and you are at a girl on her phone. Now you are no doubt here for the collab. Favorite Instant Pot recipes. We just did a collab for crock pots mm, month this half ago. <laughs> anyway, it seemed to be a big hit. Um, so I know some of Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, and obviously you are at a girl on her phone. You are no doubt here for the collab for favorite Instant Pot recipes. We did one not too long ago for Crock Pot recipes, and everyone seemed to like that, so it was suggested why not do one for an Instant Pot. So here we are. There's, I think, 11 of us in this collab. That is 11 great recipes so I always tell you you've got homework your homework is to go check out all the ladies that are participating everything is different I've already seen um, some of the things that everybody's making everybody's making something different you're not going to get any repeats not that I noticed any repeats in this collab so you're going to get something different everywhere you go and be sure to hit every one of them. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Give everybody a thumbs up. Give everybody a comment. Enjoy yourself. We appreciate you being here. And I'm just going to get right into mine. I am making... What did I make? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Teriyaki chicken. <laughs> Listen, I think I say it in the video. Yours will be brighter green when you serve it. You can see when I finish the broccoli, it's brighter green. But I had, uh, my grandson was coming. He's not one that you can video record with because that's when he gets into stuff. So I cooked it in the morning, saved it until my husband, because he works at night, saved it for him. So the broccoli did kind of turn brown. Don't let that deter you from making this dish because when you make it and you eat it right away, it's going to be nice and pretty and green. And it is very, very good. And I also say in the video, you can ramp up the um, sweetness level. Just make sure that you account for your points. So now we really are going to get into it. And I thank you for being here. And here's another thing I always like to say in our collabs. If you're new, I don't know what we'll do, but we'll have fun doing it. So let's go cook. So let's get started on our chicken. The first thing we need is one cup of water. I've already put it in this measuring cup because I need one cup of soy sauce. So I will just add that to the um, water to come up to two cups. And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing over here because of this camera angle. But I am pouring in soy sauce and keeping my fingers crossed that I have enough left in this bottle. Um, I was about a quarter cup off from the soy sauce, but that'll be close enough. So that's a cup of water and a cup of soy sauce. Then we need three tablespoons of white vinegar. A quarter um, cup of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm just going to measure it right in here. I always have a hard time finding my measurements on there. Right where I had that vinegar. So a quarter cup of that. Now for mm. our seasoning, we need one teaspoon of ginger. If you use fresh ginger, I don't really know how that translates from powder to fresh, but it probably says it on the uh, jar. I've just always used powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. And then three teaspoons of onion powder. Oh, I forgot to put my pot on saute. Put your pot on saute. <laughs> because <laughs> we need to get this hot then for our sweeteners quarter cup plain white sugar and 
a tablespoon of honey and you can see my honey has started to crystallize and I just bought that last month at the farmers market I'm really shocked that it started going that bad oh mm, hold on okay I had to beat it on the counter y'all didn't need to hear that <laughs> now so I can get it out I'm gonna spray my measure spoon and it's not gonna pour so I'm just gonna scoop it out and do it like that now well that is I, I will change I did cut back the sugar and the honey so I, I did wait what what's your fight that much because we used to eat it a lot sweeter now if you already had your pot up to heat it would not take as long all we have to do is cook this until the sugar and the honey dissolves so you just hang tight and we'll blink right back okay it's not already up to saute but we don't need it to boil so it heated up enough to dissolve that you need two pounds of chicken whole chicken not cut up whole chicken breast now these are cut in half chicken breasts because they come so big these days then we're going to put the lid on and not forget let's cancel that not forget to seal it because I forget a lot and we're going to put it on 12 minutes after 12 minutes is up we'll let the pressure release for 10 minutes and then we'll add the broccoli that's the reason I'm doing this in the 6 quart it will fit fine in the 3 quart if you're just going to do the chicken but I'm going to steam the broccoli after the chicken is done so I went ahead and got out my 6 quart if you want to do your broccoli separately and the size that you have is a 3 quart it will work just fine so when all that gets cooked and the pressure is released, then we're going to just cut up the chicken, do the broccoli, and we'll be done. See? Okay, so the chicken's done. Uh, let it rest for 10 minutes. It shows 12, so it was probably close to 11 minutes. And then I released the pressure the rest of the way. So all we have to do is cube our chicken. Okay, you can see how it cubes it, it more like tear cuts <laughs> it does not bother me if it falls apart in this recipe if you wanted i've just never done it that way i'm sure you could go ahead and cube your chicken and cook it for less time you may want to cook this for less time but i like to make sure my chicken is well done i'm thinking if you cube it Six or seven minutes, maybe. You look it up because I'm not sure. Now we put the chicken back in there. We're going to steam our broccoli right in this pot. One bag of the broccoli florets was not enough. Two bags might be too much, but I'm just going to I'm gonna put it in here and see how it looks. I just cut the little brown edges off. So... I suggest using fresh broccoli. I don't suggest using um, frozen broccoli for this because broccoli goes very quickly in the instant pot. You know what? I'm going to add it all. I'm just going to add it all. We'll just have a whole lot of extra broccoli. Now you're going to put your lid right back on. You're not going to wait. Sometimes when it's hot, it can be ornery. So don't give up. It, it will. Right, there we go. It worked good that time, so cancel. Just put it down to one minute. As soon as it comes up to the pressure for that one minute, cancel it. Let the pressure release. We're going to, um, okay. I start to say, hold on. <laughs> as soon as it comes up to the pressure, we're going to release it and that broccoli knock on wood because it always is i hope just because i'm in front of the camera it does not act up it will be steamed okay it has come to pressure so go ahead and let it off immediately now 
Instant Pot does not recommend that you do what I'm doing, but I do it anyway, so don't do what I do. Do whatever you do. <laughs> don't do this and something happened. You come get it on me. You can see there was not much pressure in there. We just let it get to pressure. We don't actually want it to start cooking because it has been cooking this whole time. I have never, ever had it take this long to drop the pressure after having just been built up. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm unplugging it, seeing if that helps. Okay, when it's not going much, I'll take the rag off. I just try to protect my counters, that's all. My cabinets up here. Okay, I plugged it back in because we're going to thicken that sauce. I've turned you off because the phone started ringing. But if you'll see, let's get some broccoli. The texture, that's exactly how we like it. We don't like it really crisp, tender. We like it, um, well, like that. So what we're going to do, hold on, hold on. Go ahead and set it on saute. We're going to take the chicken and the broccoli out because we want to thicken our sauce. Do three tablespoons of cornstarch to three tablespoons of water. And when this comes up to the ball, which it should do pretty quickly, we will whisk this in and then figure out how much we got per serving. Okay, if you can see, it's starting to ball around the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and start whisking. Okay, make this as thick as you want it. I don't want it any thicker because when I send my husband his lunch, cancel that. It um, will thicken up on him more overnight, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Put your broccoli and chicken back in there. I usually serve this over rice, but I decided today for supper, we're going to have it over lo mein. So when I come back, I will show you how I serve it up. I have already weighed, I, I have a chart inside my kitchen cabinet, it's also on my website under miscellaneous, that all my favorite and most used pots and pans and my um, crock pot liners, my instant pot liners, I have all those already weighed empty grams and ounces. So like today, I, I didn't think to weigh it empty, but it didn't matter because I already know how much it weighed. So off camera, I have already weighed this pot, and I know that I have 1,544 grams of food inside. This is two ounces of lo mein noodles. This is not going to be included in the points, but for reference, this is five points. I measured out two ounces dry and cook that by itself. So I want to do my chicken in grams. Now let me tell you up front, the broccoli has, let's just put it in a bowl, in the recipe builder, six servings and eight servings all came out to three points. So that being the case, I'm going to make it six servings, and I know that six servings, because I have a note, is 257 grams. Now, what I was going to say about the broccoli, you saw how bright the broccoli was when it was um, first cooked. That is darkened up because I have, okay, that went over, let me take a piece of that chicken off. 255, 256, I'm going to leave it. But it darkened because I made this this morning. I had to go get my grandson, and I knew it would kind of be <laughs> difficult to film that with him here. At the moment, he's over there watching his little cartoon shows. I told him, just let me do this. 
So this is three points worth of teriyaki chicken to five points worth of lo mein. Then to top it off, you have to have plenty of green onions. So there you have it. Instant pot teriyaki chicken. Now, if you want it to be sweeter, you have room to play with the points. I took it down from what we made it before Weight Watchers. I took it down. So, if you want to add more sugar or more honey, you taste it and see and make it just as sweet as you want as long as you adjust your points. And green, all you have to do is count your chicken. I will have the points on the screen that do include the chicken. So... I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. I would love to have you. I hope you will go and visit all the other ladies. I think they're going to have a bunch of good food. Okay, well that's all I know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for um, coming in on our collab, joining in with us. And I will see you on my next video.